Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial on how to build a portfolio website using ChatGPT. If you are not familiar with ChatGPT, it's an AI tool which is going to help you create and generate contents and code to build a website. However, ChatGPT is more than a tool to create and generate contents. You can do other things such as writing an email, writing a storybook, and many more other things. So let's get started. First, we're gonna go and search for ChatGPT, and then we are going to create an account. Since I have already an existing account, I'm going to skip this step. I'm going to click on Try Chat GPT and I'm going to type Write a Portfolio Website with my name. with HTML and CSS bootstrap and then you're gonna click on send. Now ChatGPT is going to gather all the required information to generate a code for our portfolio website. We have to wait for a few minutes or less in order for chat GPT to complete the whole task. Once the code is generated, we are going to copy the entire code and then we are going to create an HTML file named index.html in our favorite code editor and then paste it and click save. Great. Now that we have saved the HTML file, we are going to preview the website. As you can see, Chat GPT provided us with this code and we have our navbar on the top and we have few information and also a placeholder for images which we can add photos to our website. Now that we have the basic template for our portfolio website we are going to make few changes to the page. Let's say we want to change the title of the page. On the top, we have the title tag and front of the title tag, we have virtual docker portfolio. And I'm going to change it to website. I'm going to save the file and we're gonna go back to our browser and as you can see, the title has been changed from portfolio to website. Let's assume we want to add a new service to our website. Let's say we want to add products for our website. On the top, which is called navbar, I'm going to add a new service. All I have to do is go and find the division with the class of navbar and copy the following code and paste it and make few changes. I will call this one product.
and save it. Now we're gonna go back to the browser. And as you can see, now we have about, project, contact, and products. What I'm going to do is now create a new folder so I can add few images to our website. I'm going to call the folder IMG stands for image. I have already gathered some photos which I'm going to paste in this folder. Now we have the photos. Now we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna find the projects. And here we have the image tag which with SRC stands for source of the image. And we're gonna type the location of the images. We're gonna do the same thing for the project number two and project number three we're gonna save the file and now we're gonna go back to our favorite browser and voila as you can see we have a very nice and beautiful landing page with images and we have changed the title and also we have a new service called product what I suggest is familiarize yourself with different HTML tags. As you can see, there are different tags in this code, such as meta, link, head, body, etc. It is good practice to learn the following tags. All you have to do is search for HTML tags on the search engine and you will find loads of resources to learn from i hope you like this video and i will see you in the next video thank you